Excellent point. All right. Well, on that point, let's go to our callers. We'd like to uh, welcome our first caller on the air tonight. Welcome. You're on the air with Jesus or Muhammad. Hi. Um, I'm actually Liuza's brother. Ooh. My name is Yusha, but according to your Bible, my name would be Joseph. Oh, okay. okay. So would, according to Muhammad, it would be Joshua. Very carefully. I've sat here for the past whatever period of time, watched your show, listened to you guys bash my religion, over and over and over again, very patiently. Now, all I'm asking for you is your cooperation and for you to give me a chance for me to explain myself and my religion to you. Is that uh, fair? How, how long do you need? Five minutes. That's all I need. Do we have five okay. minutes? Uh, go, go ahead and we'll, we'll begin we'll and, and be as succinct as you possibly can, sir, please. Okay. First of all, we did nothing to your religion. We had no problem with Jesus. The, the people that had a problem with you with the Jewish people. They're the one that put your God on the crucifix and they killed them, not us. Second of all, we believe in every single prophet that came before Muhammad, including Jesus, including Abraham, going all the way down back to uh, Adam and Eve, okay? We all believe in the same God and the same religion. Everything's, it's all the same Ten Commandments. And you guys are here telling me that the prophet that I believe in is wrong because my prophet is, is not your prophet, it doesn't matter. I cannot be a Muslim if I don't believe in Jesus. I need to believe in Jesus in order for God to accept me in, in his religion. Muslims are the most peaceful people in the world, but people like you put us in positions where we are forced to get angry and fight with you. My mosque is right in front of a church. One morning after a prayer, I walked out, I saw a Christian gentleman coming out, we crossed paths, I said hello, because I wanted to make sure that between me and him, there's a peaceful reaction so no problems would arrive. You know what he said to me? He said, I'm not supposed to talk to you. You're my enemy. Now, what kind of human being looks at another human being and says, you're my enemy? What is your religion teaching people? My okay, very, 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 very good. That. Thank you. Uh, uh, don't, I don't want to yeah. hang up because that last point you just made, that last point you just condemned Muhammad. Is he listening or is he talking? Yeah, are you still could, there? Could, could I give a quick response sure, and then you go into go. more detail? But I think he's still talking. He's not listening because they put him down. Okay, Let's look, sure don't, 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 don't hang up. Don't hang up. But we, 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 we don't want you to go through 50 points and then we don't have an opportunity to address them. So we'll address your points briefly. And then if you have more to say, uh, no problem. We can continue uh, this dialogue. Uh, it seems you made four brief points here. Um, you, first, you said, we did nothing to your religion. Well, what do you mean by we? Uh, Muslims in Egypt are kidnapping and raping uh, Christian girls and forcing them to convert to Islam. And then when their parents come looking for them, uh, the Muslim government says, well, too bad, they've converted to Islam. The same thing is happening in Pakistan. And so what are. do you mean by we? Yeah. Are, are you talking, are, do you mean we as only uh, really nice Muslims? Well, that's the problem. But you, you can't say you're only identifying Muslims as the really nice Muslims. Uh, or perhaps you mean Muhammad didn't do anything to the Christians. I don't know uh, how much Islamic history you know, but uh, Muhammad is the one who, who delivered to his followers Surah 929, which commanded Muslims to fight to fight Christians, to fight the people of the book, specifically because of our beliefs. So how can you say Muslims haven't done anything? Muslims marched throughout the Middle East. Muslims marched across North Africa. Muslims marched up into Europe. Muslims marched all the way over to India. Were Christians killed? Yes. Who were they killed by? Muslims. How can you say we've done nothing to you? Please explain. Second, you say we believe in every prophet, including Jesus. Uh, and you say that Muslims have to believe in Jesus. I agree you should believe in Jesus. What we're saying is not whether you believe in Jesus. We're asking whether you believe in the true Jesus. If you say you believe in some Jesus who walked around saying, hey, I'm just a prophet, uh, just worship God. Uh, I, I'm just telling you to obey the law. What we're saying is that Jesus never existed. He never walked the planet. There's no evidence anywhere that that Jesus ever existed. Right. The only Jesus we have any evidence for is a man who came into this world constantly made claims that everyone around him was interpreting as claims to be divine yes. so that by the end of his life there were only two <laughs> kinds of people Bless there were there were people who bowed down and worshiped him as lord and there were people who said we have to kill this man because yes. he's claiming to be god how dare he we have no evidence of anyone saying in the first century no this guy's just claiming to be a prophet <laughs> so how i mean imagine this if i say uh, i believe in Mah you believe in muhammad i believe in muhammad too but i believe muhammad was an alien <laughs> 
I believe he was a green. I believe he was green and he existed in the, in the 12th century. Am I really believing in Muhammad? No, because the Muhammad I believe in never existed. There was no alien Muhammad in the 12th century. So if I'm going to believe in Muhammad, I have to believe in the true Muhammad. And we're saying you do not believe in the true Jesus. You believe in a false Jesus. We want you to believe in the true Jesus. That's why we're trying to explain this to you. Third, you said Muslims are the most peaceful people in the world. Mm -hmm. Why is it that every time there's a terrorist attack, almost every time there's a terrorist attack in the world, it's by Muslims? You say, well, that has nothing to do with Islam. Read your holy book. Read Surah 929, where Muslims are told to go out and fight everyone. Read your great commentary, such as Ibn Kathir, who said, invite everyone in the world to Islam. If anyone refuses to come to Islam or refuses to pay the jizya, fight them until they're dead. Read Sahih al-Bukhari or Sahih Muslim, where Muhammad specifically says, I've been commanded to fight people until they say, La ilaha illallah. He's been commanded to fight until we become Muslims. So what do you mean by peaceful? You obviously mean peace oh. in some radically different sense from what we mean. When we say uh, Islam is not a religion of peace, we mean Islam is a religion that calls people to fight others, which it definitely is. So if you're saying Islam is peaceful, you... you Please explain to us what you mean by peace, because oh, it obviously said. includes fighting all unbelievers, because your religion commands you that. And finally, you said a Christian called you his enemy. Now, I know Sam wants to add something yeah. here, but notice what Muslims do. If I point to Major Nidal Malik Hassan, it's our fault. and I say, and I say, uh, look what this Muslim did, you say, ah, you can't point to one Muslim and, and apply that to, as if this is all Muslims. Well, I agree. I agree completely. You shouldn't do that. What you should do is see whether his actions are commanded by his religion and then see how it relates to the religion. But you don't point to any random Muslim and say, this guy is obviously bad and therefore all uh, Muslims are bad. You don't do that. But what did this Muslim just do? Mm -hmm. Here's a Christian who said something mean. Therefore, look how mean Christians are. Well, why would you do that? Where's the consistency here? You've just said you can point to a Christian to show how mean Christians are and how you are a Muslim are, are, not, are much nicer. Why can't I say, well, uh, Osama bin Laden, look what he's done, therefore that's how all Muslims are. The difference is, I would never do that, and yet you do it. And not only that, there's a much bigger problem. Go ahead, yeah. Sam. Uh, yeah, and again, I just ask, by the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the power of His Spirit, all of us speak the truth clearly and accurately without error, so that we can glorify Jesus Christ in a spirit of love. Uh, he was talking about that the Christian didn't greet him, and that he's the one who's causing these hostile feelings between Muslims and Christians. Well, if a Christian truly did, failed to greet you because you're the enemy, then that Christian doesn't know his Bible, and then he's contradicting the words of the Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Matthew chapter 5, verses 43 to 48. Matthew chapter 5, verses 43 to 48. A true Christian follows Jesus and obeys his commands. This is what Jesus tells us Christians to do uh, to our enemies. Here, <clears throat> you have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be sons of your Father in heaven. He causes his son to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. If you love those who love you, what reward will you get? Are not even the tax collectors doing that? And if you greet only your brothers, what are you doing more than others? Do not even pagans do that. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. So if he is a true Christian, he's commanded by the Lord Jesus Christ to love his enemies and to greet them. If he failed to do that, then he sinned against the Lord, and I pray the Lord grants him repentance. However, by your criterion, you condemn Muhammad. Here's why. This comes from Al-Adab, Al-Mufrad by Al-Bukhari. These are sound narrations. Narrations also cited by Ibn Kathir in the connection of humiliating Jews and Christians. In Al-Adab Al-Mufrad by Al-Bukhari, let me read what Muhammad told Muslims not to do. Uh, this comes from section 512. When a dhimmi writes and gives the greeting, he is answered. Number 1101. Abu Uthman Al-Nadi said, Abu Musa wrote to a Persian uh, grandee and greeted him in his letter. He was asked, do you greet him when he's an unbeliever? He replied, he wrote to me and greeted me, so I've answered him. According to the commands of Muhammad, you do not greet disbelievers. They have to greet you first. Here's another one. Number 1102. Abu Basra al-Ghivari reported that the Prophet said, now this is Muhammad, I will write to the Jews tomorrow. Do not give them the greeting first. If they greet you, then say and on you. Another one. Number 1103. 
1103, Abu Huraira reported that the Prophet said, do not give the people of the book the greeting first, force them to the narrowest part yes. of the road. Yes. So by your criterion, you condemn Muhammad because Muhammad said, don't greet the unbelievers until they greet you. And when you see them walking, force them to the narrowest part of the road. If you go to Ibn Kathir's commentary and chapter 9, verse 29, he says that this forcing them to the narrowest part of the road is to fulfill chapter 9, verse 29, which says, degrade, debase, belittle Jews and Christians. So then why do you believe in Muhammad? If you're being honest with what you said, you must reject him because he stands condemned by your own words. I have a lot more to say, but... Are yeah, you still yeah, there? Yes, Are you still is, there? Listen, I'm still here. Okay, yes. go ahead and respond if you like. Now, now uh, first, please begin, uh, if, if you can, if you can, now, listen, listen, friend. Uh, please explain to us, please explain to us, and you've just given us a criteria. You said, this Christian was an awful person because yeah. he didn't greet me and called me an enemy, when we have shown that when he did that, he was acting contrary to the teachings of Jesus. But we have shown you that this principle which you find, not greeting someone, is something that your prophet, who you no, think is, is the greatest really person wrong. in history, he himself said, don't greet the people of the book, force them to the narrowest part of the road. Now, if this Christian walked out and you said, hey, how you doing? And he said, I'm going to force you to the edge of the sidewalk and up against the wall so you scrape yourself up. You would have said, you would have called on here and complained about that and said how awful this person is. That's what your prophet com commands you to do, whereas our Lord tells us to love you and to Amen. greet you in love. Please explain how you have not condemned your own prophet. Listen. Listen very carefully. I'm going to explain myself right now to you, okay? okay? Okay. First of all, you're putting someone else's words in my mouth. Second of all, I don't care what, what a man does. I'm caring what the Holy Quran tells me to do. Holy Quran tells me to do to be a peaceful person with every single human being in the world. You're telling me all these verses and stuff that aren't even related. You're saying, this man said that, this man said that. I don't care what those men wait, wait, wait. Do, I care what the do Holy you, Quran Do you reject the hadith? Wait, 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 wait. Do you reject the commands of Muhammad in the hadith? things i don't believe you guys you guys don't know what you're doing you're ignorant you're causing another world war a religion okay well, war. sir thank you for All your right. call the subject tonight is uh, the corruption of the quran do you want to speak on the corruption of the quran or shall we go to the next caller but all right no, 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 notice no, let, let's, yeah. let, let's let let's let's just clarify for everyone mm -hmm. what just happened he gave a, a list of claims all of the claims were wrong um then <laughs> then he says this Christian, this Christian didn't greet me. What an awful person. When we showed from his own texts, from his own text, from his own prophet, from Muhammad himself, Muhammad commanded his followers not to greet the Jews and Christians and to force them to the narrowest part of the road, while our Lord commands us to greet everyone in love. Therefore, if he's right and it's right to greet everyone in love, he should be listening to Jesus and he should condemn Muhammad. What did he do? He said, I only believe in the Quran, mm. which is a position that is recognized as heresy among Muslims. If Absolutely. you say, I do not follow the Sunnah of Muhammad, I only follow yeah. the Quran, you're recognized in Islam as a heretic. You're not a Sunni, you're not a Shia, you're, you're, you're somewhere else. And you can, actually, you can actually be killed if you say this sort of thing in Muslim lands. And this is the position he was forced to retreat to because he knows if we go to the history of Muhammad, he has just condemned his own prophet. But guess what? If you say, you only go with what the Quran says. You still condemned Islam yes. because you said that Islam, uh, you, you only believe in teachings that promote peace among all people. Hmm. What does the Quran say? Well, Sam? we're going to go to a right break and the we break. can, we can continue, continue on.